Courtney, if you just want to start us off. Uh, well, we're coming off a really good fall season. Uh, we ended the season ranked 28th in the country, and we, we closed the season with a win uh, at the Atlanta Athletic Club uh, over some really good teams. And uh, so I feel like we are really looking forward to the spring, <coughs> building off what we did. It was a really big win, kind of one of a, a step up for us to win that tournament and beat some really uh, top 20 teams. So we're excited to get going. Uh, we hope the weather turns shortly so that we can continue to work on our game. We head to uh, Birmingham to play the Battle of the Bluegrass uh, next weekend against Kentucky. And uh, our first mission is to, to bring the trophy back to Louisville. All right, questions? Corey, we were talking to Justin. How do you take a good fall and kind of translate it into the spring with the weather and all the conditions and everything else and how different it is? Because you guys did have a really good fall. How do you take that and kind of take that momentum into the spring? I think it, for us, it's about being patient, knowing what we have. We've talked to the team about the last three weeks, just focusing on a couple things that you can control. We're really working on fundamentals and sticking to improving things that we can do inside, whether it be their, something that they're working on fundamentally in their golf swing or their putting stroke, so that when we have the opportunity to get to, to grass um, and better weather conditions, We've already worked on our technique, then we'll work on execution when we get, get to the, the green grass as opposed to being inside. Mark, you came a long way also to play golf here in Louisville. Talk about some of the things that brought you here and maybe talk a little bit of the differences of playing in Ireland and playing in Louisville. Um, when I came first, it was kind of difficult because the grass is very different to what I'm used to at home. So it took me a while to get used to it, but after maybe about a month, then I started to get to grips with it. Um, I kind of chose Louisville because of the coaches and the great facilities and the home atmosphere. Um, I visited a few colleges, but here it just was like really homely and everyone was so friendly. Even like when we walked downtown, people just would like say hi, even if just passing in the street. So that really like struck me and my parents, so we really liked it. Coach, what is the spring like for you uh, in, in knowing that you're going to move on at the end of the spring. Will it be emotional for you at all? And, and it is nice to have a veteran group to kind of go out with. Yeah, it's definitely bittersweet. You know, I, I am really excited to see how far we can go because we last year we made it to the national championship finals. And, and so most of the group is back from there with a few new ones. And so I think they they tasted that, and I think with this group, we want to see how far we can go. For me, it will certainly be emotional. Every every tournament will be a last, um, per se, but at the same time, um, the most important thing for me is to enjoy them uh, these last couple months, and I think it's going to be, for me, I want to make it really fun, um, but also really competitive. I want to go out. We want to finish, you know, as best as we ever have. Have the expectations, I know, you, I know how you are, and you're always high. Have they ever been higher, though? Such a good spring, what you did, I mean, such a good spring last year, and then what you did in the fall. I mean, are you, is this as, bad, as good as it's been for you guys? I think consistently, yes. And I think this is the deepest team we've ever had, as far as from one to eight, um, everybody being able to contribute. So, yeah, I would say the expectations are there, but I think now they, Last year it was, can we do it? Now it's, we know we can, and, and being able to do that and follow it up. So yeah, I think the expectations, but we're trying to um, just control the things that we can control You know, in everything when you go out and expect to do things. I think you end up disappointed. And so for this group, it's about doing the preparation and taking care of the little things. The golf and the scores will come because they, have, they are experienced enough and more of a veteran group to know um, of what they're capable of. Is there competition or, I mean, you said one through eight. I mean, how, how much will that change? How much will that five change? I think certainly um, a, there, there'll be some changes towards the bottom of the lineup, I think. Um, the spring is totally different than the fall because we don't have the opportunity to go out and play every day. Uh, so we're, we have to base a lot of things uh, off of, you know, experience. Um, but we will take our whole team to – Birmingham and to the Moon Golf Invitational, and then again to um, 
we've added a late match with East Carolina, which is not even on the schedule because we had a rain out day in Florida. So we'll have an opportunity to see all eight players in competition. And then hopefully when we really get into the meat of our season um, in mid-March, we'll kind of have an idea of who those five will likely be. Lauren, you've had a long history of being an outstanding golfer here in the state. As you, as you go into your junior year, what are some of the accomplishments and the things that you want to get done this year? Yeah, well, I think definitely coming off of such a good season last year, we're really excited for the spring and hoping to make it back to the national championship finals and getting that final eight, you know, making match play is definitely a big goal of mine before I leave here and doing it with this great group of girls. We've been working really hard, so it's exciting. Lauren, what, with, with all that you've accomplished individually and then what you guys did it last year as a team, how much did that taste of getting there last year kind of set in with the mm -hmm. return is of, okay, like Coach said, we, we know we can do it now. Let's, let's try to get better. Yeah, I agree. Um, definitely when, once you actually get there and you see all the teams and you're able to compete with everyone, that kind of puts a fire in your stomach and you're just like ready to go back and play even better next year. And we've played with all these teams and all these girls and we know that we can compete with them. So definitely seeing that and being there really makes us want to do even better. Coach, you are some of the teams in the ACC that will be contending with you all at different top of the conference. Well, I think Duke is always sets the bar. They won the ACC championship last year by, it wasn't even close. We were all playing for second place. So I think they set the bar. Um, and and I think that we have learned through playing with them over the years that it's, it's we can, we can on our best days and their best days, we can still compete with them. Um, Florida State has a really solid team. They're, they're pretty young. Uh, Miami, last year we had 11, 10 of 11 teams make it to the re NCAA regionals. So we've got, as far as depth goes, uh, probably the strongest conference in the country. And so I think as a, as a goal, it's collectively in the conference, um, on any given day, they're all really competitive. And so uh, that's the, the fun part, but it also provides a great challenge. And so for us, I think that um, getting over that hump of, you know, trying to get probably two shots better per day, per player, will get us right in the mix with the likes of Duke. Virginia's really strong this year as well. Uh, they're both in the top 10 right now. So uh, the ACC continues to present a strong challenge, uh, you know, from top to bottom. Jordan, can you talk about their, both of their games and strengths of Lauren there, if you, if you could, just for a minute? Yeah, so Mairead is, um, a, an incredible player, and she's just scratching the surface of what she's really capable of doing. The interesting thing about Mairead is that you never know. She'll hit a ball into the to, into the lake, and you won't, you won't even know. She's just she has the the greatest demeanor of probably any player I've ever coached. Um, as far as what happens, she'll hit a 50 yard hook. It'll be in the next fairway, and she just goes and finds her golf ball and and gets it to the next place. And I think as a player. Um, you can't teach that, uh, but she, some of the, the way that she handles bad shots is the best I, I've seen of anybody I've ever coached. And so fundamentally, she's been working on some things in her golf swing to keep the ball from going into the other fairway or into the water. Um, and I think once she gets that down, I really th look for her to, to potentially be an All-American. I mean, she, she is, uh, but the way she handles herself, and anybody that plays golf, whether you play at our level or an amateur, you know, it's, it's always about the next shot. And so for her uh, and her experience level, she's played all over the world and played in, you know, she represents Ireland and has played all over the world. And so I think that this is, although this is elite level competition for her, she's experienced in those pressure situations. And so it's, it's been an easy transition for her. Um, Lauren's game is incredibly steady, I think probably one of the best ball striking players I've ever coached as far as iron and approach shots. We were talking, the, going through their statistics in the last couple of weeks, trying to figure out how they could get better. And Lauren averages almost 15 greens around. Um, and so I think just continuing to build on 
on both of their strengths as players um, and this these couple of weeks where we've had some bad weather and we've had some downtime before we practice I think everybody's gotten to work on those small little things that they can improve um, upon and so hopefully both of their games will pick up where they left off and continue to be better in this spring so Aaron, how, do you, how do you move on that next shot where that demeanor where did that come from <laughs> When I was younger, I was really good at moving on from the shot before. And as I got a little bit older, I found it kind of hard and I was really tough on myself. So I find that now, if I try to move on from a shot, I just kind of laugh at myself about how, if it was a bad shot, like how bad it was. I just kind of laugh at myself and then that helps me to move on. And someone once told me to look at the top of the flag stick when I'm walking up the fairway so it keeps my shoulders back. So my attitude will be better and I won't be too worried about the next shot. So that's what I do. How's the adjustment to college then? How are you liking it so far? Um, it was, I really like it here. Um, it's not too bad. Like homesick wise, I'm not missing home too much. Um, and I really like playing competitively, competitively with the team. And all the girls are like really nice and they, I just love being so competitive every day. We practice together and we're competitive together every day, which is good and I just really like it. How often have you, you mentioned not being homesick, how often have you, get, have you had a chance to get home yet? Yeah, I went home for three weeks at Christmas time. So that was really nice. So um, I was happy to come back as well to get back into the normality, and back into the routine and everything. Lauren, you've been also around a few Yeah, she's definitely done a great job. You know, we've had a few freshmen coming in and out, and sometimes people struggle, but Maraid has come in, and her golf game has shown it. She's played phenomenally. She's done great. She's been great in practice and provided a great challenge for me and everyone else and pushing all of us to get even better. So it's been great. <laughs> Courtney, um, a couple weeks ago, Vince bragged about Whitney. I know she's back there, but can you just brag about what she's done? And he said it was kind of an easy he said he thinks this will be an easy transition. Can you just kind of talk about what she has brought to the program since you hired her? She's brought a lot. Um, but I think the number one thing that she brings is she's really consistent as a person. Uh, there's She's a really nice person. Um, but underneath that niceness, niceness, she's extremely competitive. And there's nobody uh, between the two of us together, I think, combined. Uh, it's just constantly about getting the best out of our players together, getting the best out of each other as coaches. What can we continue to get better? Getting the best recruits. Uh, she's in extremely well thought of in the recruiting circle um, across the country. And I think she has brought that to Louisville um, as far as the name and the notoriety of what a great recruiter she is. Um, so I think you will continue to see. For me personally, I think it's it's really easy to leave and know that the program will continue. And sh she's going to take the program to even higher places because she's able to recruit great players. Um, the players respect her um, because she's such a great person, but also because uh, she's extremely competitive and wants is going to push them to be their best, um, but has her own way of doing that. Uh, she was an incredibly good player, I think, too. Um, and she still can go out and not have played much and still can get the ball in the hole, um, which is, is good to be able to show these, these guys sometimes. Um, but I think Vince is right in that it's, it was a no-brainer um, to, to give her the head coaching position. And I think in the state of Kentucky, uh, she, will carry, she carries a great name, very well respected, and is probably one of the greatest players um, to ever come out of the state of Kentucky. So I think continuing that is important for us to maintain, you know, good heights in the state. Um, and I look for, I couldn't be more excited for the team to have Whitney leading and, and also for me to be able to watch from afar and, and see how far they continue to go. But it's, uh, there's, there's no question that since she stepped into our program, we've, we've continued to elevate, and that's just because of all the things that she brings as a person and as a coach.
Thanks, guys. Thank you.